What is good, Grey Gang? In today's video, we're going to be shooting a full auto 22, and we're going to be squirrel hunting with it by the end of the day. KG, where did you find, and how are you able to get a full auto 22 to hunt with? Let me tell you a secret, okay? Don't tell anybody else, and they ain't going to notice. It's actually a 22 air gun okay 22 caliber air rifle but it's still full auto and it's still more than capable of killing a squirrel and since it's an air gun the rules are like pretty much non-existent so you can still hunt with it and you can still own full auto here's the thing we have ballistics gel here this is like a rubbery stuff and what it does is it simulates the same consistency as flesh so we're gonna shoot it in there and see just how effective and how powerful it is so here's the gun though looks pretty sick don't it it comes with this hpa which is high pressurized air this is belt fed okay a hundred round belt and then it has a drum to put the belt in i got the maxed out version so i got everything you could get with it it comes with the mag pellets a speed loader because it is kind of slow to load and then i got a kg red dot this didn't come with it but i am putting this on it how are you expecting it to perform? I expect highly out of it. I do too. Oh yeah, dude. That's a perfect little field of view. We're working with 3,000 PSI here too. So if something goes wrong, your boy may not be able to post this video. How, how do I, how far do I? Oh my gosh, dude. Right there. Right. That's kind of scary. Oh yeah, it scared me too. Oh, I guess what you could do is use this as a stock like paintballers do, but shoots a 22 caliber pellet. It's the same caliber which is diameter as a real 22 long rifle. But instead of being like 60 grains, these are about... They're about 17, I'm pretty sure. No. They lighter? I don't think they say. They probably weigh those in grams. In grams? Probably. Well, then it's one gram. Oh, no, that's serious. That's serious. How many grains is one gram? Hey, Siri, how many grains is one gram? Here's an answer from AskNumbers.com. 15.4 grains. All right, so we're about 15 grains. That is approximately one-fourth the weight. All right, there we go. Let's just go for it. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, all right, here we go. I'm, I'm gonna try to put some on target. Dang. That's crazy. Let me see how much air pressure we got. All right, so we started with 3,000. One belt through. Guess how much we have? Probably 1,500. We have about 800. Really? Dang. That's kind of wicked, dude. That is kind of wicked. Dude, that was different. What'd you think? It was louder than what I expected. <laughs> it got quick, didn't it? Yeah. I think it goes up to like seven or 900 RPM. You didn't really see that right here because it will go as slow as you want it. It's a progressive trigger system, which means if I barely put pressure on the trigger, it's going to shoot. And then I failed to kind of push my finger back. It feels like it's a forced reset. But then like I was saying, it's a progressive trigger. So if you want to hold it all the way down, it's going to fire quick. Ready? I'm just going to... There wasn't no bullets in it, but I can fire it slow. Or I can fire it fast. That's awesome. It is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and load us up five pellets. Then we'll send all five pellets into that really fast. To load it, here's what you do. You stick those right there, just like that. You just put five pellets on just like that. Nothing too crazy. And then I'll come through with this and literally push them down in there. Once they're in there, it's rocked and ready to go. And we're about to pull out some ballistics gel. This should tell us how effective it's going to be against animals. Ready? Yep. All right, let's check it out. So looking directly at it, I did do full auto, five shots, point blank. Here, right here is where the bullets at, or the pellets actually went in. You got one, two, three, four, five. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty basic entry hole though, like really small, as most bullets and pellets do. But when we come on top to look at them, uh, penetration, I'll pull out my KG pocket knife as a reference point. It came in every bit of two and a half, maybe three inches. Theoretically, if we hit a squirrel in between the rib bones, it can pass all the way through. Now, how much is it gonna slow down once it hits the rib bone? I don't know. How much is it going to slow down if we hit its shoulder bone? I don't know. All right, guys. It is later in the week, and we're finally going to go squirrel hunting with the SMG-22. All right, guys. Here's what I've done. I have sighted in with a red dot. Technically speaking, red dots are not known to be the most accurate things in the world. Since, you know, the red dot can take up 
half of the squirrel. But we're gonna make do with what we got. We got 100 rounds loaded up, and I took two hours this morning to get 3,000 PSI into this thing. Guys, it's kind of sad. I'm not kidding. It literally took me two hours. That's why it's 10 o'clock, and I'm just now hunting. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. See if it explodes again. Yep, sure did. Nevertheless, I think we're good to go. Also, I have chosen to wear my KG ghillie suit out here. If you want the ghillie suit kit or the hunting fanny pack that I'm going to be using, you can check them out at kindlegrade1.com slash shop or first link in the description. I've nestled myself into a tree. Kind of. Not really. Do you hear that squirrel? Because I do. I'm in prime time real estate for squirrel hunting. I'm literally leaned up against a giant hickory tree and I'm watching about four to five more big hickory trees that they've been eating like crazy lately. Do y'all see all the hickory nut shavings that's down here? How they've split them open and they've just been having a little big king buffet over here. Golden Corral style. Good. I did have the dot right on the squirrel, but like I was saying with the red dot, not exactly the best for hunting because a lot of the times the red dot takes up half the squirrel and you can't be too precise. What I've noticed is that I've not been able to use this gun's main feature to my advantage. Obviously the gun's main feature and main strength is that it's full auto, but in hunting you just can't use it because it doesn't make any sense. If you get on target and then jam the trigger, you're gonna shake and you're gonna miss your first shot. On the other hand, if you just hold down and keep tracking the squirrel, it's gonna keep vibrating and the squirrel's already running. And by that time, you're just shooting a moving animal, which is way harder than it sounds. So really, your first shot's the only one that matters, at least for hunting. Yeah, I took it out squirrel hunting, did not uh, kill anything. I ended up hunting with this as a single shot and having a really good shot too. So I'm actually gonna re-pattern this thing. I sighted it in the first day before I went hunting and it was sighted in pretty good, but I'm starting to think maybe it's just inconsistencies with pellets because that happens. I'm gonna draw our squirrel right here, so. Okay, that's our squirrel we're gonna shoot at. Just so you know, just to simulate what a squirrel actually looks like. So, come on over. Good simulation. I'm gonna set that right up. We're gonna give him what we got. I'm just gonna put him on it, okay? All right. Now, before we shoot the target, I wanna tell you guys about the KG Black Friday sale. Today, I'm pretty sure, or at least I think it is, I don't know, it's black, it's pretty much Black Friday. Here's some of our top items we sell. As much as I'd like to go through and tell you how much you get off each item, I'm just gonna do this. Use promo code BLACKFRIDAY, all caps, and you're gonna get 10% off anything site-wide that's knives shirts hoodies survival kits yeah survival knives anything literally just use promo code black friday all caps and you're going to get 10% off anything and that's actually good up until the end of cyber monday so you got a pretty big window if you want something buy it i'm just going to put them on it okay all right We had a lot more air in there than I thought. Yes. All right, let's go check it out and see how good the pattern is overall. Okay. Now, that was 100 shots, so I'd expect to have a, at least a couple rounds on target. Yeah. Uh. Oh. In theory, that would have killed a squirrel. But also in theory, and in practicality, you see what I'm saying? Only about 15% of the pellets would have actually hit the squirrel to yeah. kill it. And I mean, I was holding the dot on him, okay? It wasn't recoiling so much that I couldn't keep it on target. I was keeping it on target right there the whole time. But what I'm noticing is that gun's not made for hunting. It's not made for target shoot. It's not made for precision accuracy. It's made just to have fun and shoot a full auto. That could explain why there's inconsistencies from one pellet that went here, one pellet went here, one pellet went way over here, and all in between when I was holding in the same spot. I don't want to do it, but I know I got to do it. I'm calling the hunt. Squirrels will be happy. 
Yeah. I'd rather just not go squirrel hunting than go squirrel hunting and hit a squirrel in the leg and injure it. If you want to see me go squirrel hunting with the cheapest shotgun at Walmart, click right over here or right over here for all of my squirrel hunting videos.